Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio, the Steam release. Okay. I think we're gonna start to expand some of this stuff again. I, I like this. This is going good. Going good. Going well. Let's let's speak proper English. Warrior on my Roboports game. Right, so um I added a new mod. I just got done playing with Stejo today, and uh more character logistics slots just seems awesome. More logistic robot speed, more cargo size. It's just too good. Um, we have to do it, so. So I added it in. Can I seriously? There we go. So that I can actually, like, request roboports and stuff like that. Would be swell. What is up with beacon production? Do we have beacons being made? Maybe I should increase beacon storage. I think I'm gonna go nuts with beacons here. And I'm going to use an absolute ton of them. We're making them up here. And we now lack advanced circuits. There are no advanced circuits. Because advanced circuits are made here. And we just need more. So let's beaconify. More speed modules. Alright, so we can start requesting things like roboports and beacons. I want like probably 20 of those and probably 50 of those. Beacons, I don't think they stack very well. That might be a lot of slots worth of beacons. Maybe we do fewer. We'll see how it looks. If it's too many, we just get rid of it a little bit. Okay, but we certainly need to continue putting these speed speed modules over here. And some more beacons. Thank you for the beacon. Oh, you know what? The other mod I was considering adding in that I probably should have is I decided against... Um, I I'm thinking I do want to get that module for... You know what? I'm just going to real quick... Real quick, let's just do it. Let's just take the time to do it. I already have the mod. I know where it is. It's called... Module Inserter. Mods... Very nearly vanilla. And there we have it. Let's just get the mod. I think it's going to be useful with all the beaconing that I'm doing. So, this is going to create a new, um, thing. Right there. Module Inserter. And it basically, it works the exact same way as Upgrade Planner. So, Upgrade Planner, you, you set stuff. With this one, you do Module Insertion. So, you say Entity. So, you, like, click here, right? So, let's say we want to say... Uh, we're only putting Speed Beacons, right? That's the only thing that I'm doing. So, let's get rid of that. Let's go Beacons. And let's say... I need, uh, I need a beacon to be able to do this. Let's take this one. We say entity, beacon, modules. And then we put two speed modules here and here. And then we say save changes. And so that's one of our configured profiles. And so now all we have to do is we just create a module inserter. And then we just go zoop. Ah, uh, wait, I gotta actually put the beacon down. The new beacon. And it creates like a, a fake entity underneath there, and then the robots bring it and they, they put stuff in there. So that's pretty pretty swell. Unknown key, entity-name.module-inserter-proxy. I think we need to keep this in here until they're done with the job. Oh, right! You know what? Actually, there's a problem. I remember reading about this. Uh, it only works with your personal roboport. Which means I'm going to have to probably get a personal roboport, aren't I? Okay, fine. We can do that. Where are we? What am I looking for? Speed modules. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I know you're, I know you're missing beacons. You're really sorely lacking production here. Even despite having crafting speed of three on this guy now. We just need more. Part of the problem is that half of this is getting bled off. And half of it's going down this way. We've got... Red circuits from over here. Let's bleed some of these off.
That'll help out for now. We'll let wherever the hell these are coming from participate in this production. Okay, so let's see about adjusting our suit. We're still using the... Yeah, we've got room. We've got room for some personal robo-ports. Some robo-ports require just some batteries. Okay. Batteries. Now I've got batteries somewhere. I think they were being used by solar. Pretty much every single battery ever made is being consumed by solar. These are running pretty well, right? Looks like we're going to just steal a lot of this battery stuff for now. And have them immediately taken from me. Okay, um, I'm willing to have... Okay, I want to pause auto trash. Pause. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to request batteries for now. I need how many? 45, let's just call it 250. Because wherever they just took those, they'll bring them right back. Two, three, four, five. Now we get rid of it. Now, I had moved away from using the personal RoboPort because I don't like the way that it interacts with your inventory. Um, but I actually was playing with it again using uh, in, the, in the Some Assembly Required campaign with Cjo, And holy crap, um, it actually works really well when you've got auto trash taking care of keeping your inventory somewhat clean. So I don't think there's any real reason to keep on putting down chests and doing stuff that way. The problem is that this many RoboPorts certainly does take a lot of power. And I might have to get rid of a couple legs to throw in an extra portable fusion reactor. Otherwise, we're probably just going to continuously run out of power. When you use your robots a lot, they end up draining the entire thing, and then your legs can't work. Your legs don't work! I want to request these and these. I want to have... Looks like they stack up to... Oh, they've already taken it all away, thank you. Uh, let's try like 50 and 50. Let's also keep on doing more research. Let's get, just get all the logistics slots out of the way, I think. For now. I don't feel like I'm fast. Yeah, because we're charging up all these robo-ports. Takes a lot of power. Alright, I'm just gonna go with two, two fewer legs. We'll still get around pretty quick. But I don't want this to be a constant issue. I'd rather have constant power than temporary, occasional power. Still don't have enough, but hopefully these will stay charged more frequently this way. Uh, let's throw these into storage for now. Let's say that we want to keep maybe uh, 50 of those and 50 of those. I think cars and tanks and stuff. Yeah, 16, 8, 20. So if we keep 50, we can always build two locomotives. How about we keep 100? Let's keep 80. Oh, if we're going to keep... Might as well keep 100. And then the electric engine units, I don't think we need to carry very many of. 50 is fine. Beacon stack and lots of 10. Let's go down to, like, 30. So that we don't have too many of these slots reserved. Um, let's actually go ahead and request coal. And say in the planning tool that we're only interested in 50. Now that we can actually request it, we have enough requester slots, I'm just going to keep it at 50. Actually, no, I want to do 100. Which means we don't even need coal to be in here. Look at all the requester slots, it's so good! I mean, the late game should feel this overpowered, I think. In my professional opinion. Now we're low on green circuits. Because the green circuits for this production area only come from here. And I slowed them down, but I didn't give them any speed beacons. So... 
I suppose for now, we'll just inefficiently throw in a few. Also, now I want to try out this, this blueprint upgrader. Was that thing supposed to stay in my inventory? No, it was not. I think that because I like told them to build something and then I deconstructed it, it didn't. That was weird. Okay, well the module inserter works now. That'll give us a few more green circuits. Actually, looks like we might need to increase the ability for them to put stuff down. That's going to overflow this, and then we'll end up with extras going down this way, which will keep the beacon production good. Okay, I feel good about that. And now we're going to focus on the, uh, the singularity, I guess is what we're going to call it. Uh, we should probably put some more lights in here. Let's pair the lights up with the... the electrical poles. Through the center, I think, would be good. What have I done? Here. Okay, well, we got some lights. I'll put the rest of them on my own. I'm gonna get our new robotic smelting area operational. Okay, so you are requesting 100 and you are outside of the robo network. So, that is clearly an issue. We'll go down to there, for now. And then let's... Darn it. Darn it. Alright, so we've expanded this area well enough, for now. Let's get these all uh, beaconed up, so let's try out the module. Just go like that, we should just get them automatically. Oh, it's so beautiful. But then we ran out. Then it wasn't so beautiful. Damn. This thing is useful enough, I think I'm gonna put it in my hotbar. Um... Speed module production is at a standstill because we have a lack of stuff. Because I'm a dummy and I didn't connect that. Awesome. So I doubled the production of this, but I didn't actually connect this, and so we ended up with the same amount of production as, as what we used to have. I think I'm going to need enough of this that I'm going to just make it even bigger. Let's get rid of you for now. Let's go ahead and uh, clear you out for a second. And we're going to take a blueprint of this whole thing. Here. Do that guy again. And it certainly is quite convenient, actually, having the personal RoboPort here. I don't know why the robots have decided that they aren't going to do the rest. They're going to let the actual network do the rest, but... Robots take out of my inventory, other robots come and bring stuff to me. Seems fine. That actually explains why I had that blueprint issue. Right there.
Okay, so we doubled it again, which means we need to double this whole thing now as well. I mean, eventually it will get done. I'd actually kind of prefer for the robots to just always take from my inventory, because it seems like I have more available anyway. Now, because I ran out of blueprints, or I ran out of speed modules, I wonder if it's going to, like, remember that I had told them to upgrade? Alright, let's program another one. We'll go modules. We want furnaces are always going to have productivity threes. Save changes. Oh, it's beautiful. Just totally beautiful. It's a bot... bot haven. It's a bot... this is where the bots like to live. Okay, um... So our goal right now is we want to convert all of this copper and iron ore into... plate. Actually, you know what? I think I'm actually going to make this this system smarter than it is right now. We're going to start using some smart inserters. Let's go ahead and start getting like logistic robot speed. Let's see. Do we want the uh, buffer to be before or after the? I think we want it to be on the input. Okay, so you are going to make, this is a copper furnace, so if we have less copper plate in the logistic network than, say, 20,000, then you're allowed to work. We're gonna want to request smart inserters. Oh, it's just so nice being able to request all the things that you use. It's it's been such a a hassle for me not being able to request stuff, having to have like this this whole uh, dual program, dual rule set nonsense. Okay, we're going to copy that one down for now, and then change it to Iron Plate. Check it out, we're having power issues. Nice! I'm going to go upgrade the solar. Not surprising, honestly, considering how many, uh... How many of these things we got running it. Just, you know, tons of power. We should also be doing smart inserters on everything else in the system, though. So let's, um... Let's finish setting this up, then we'll go do power. So if... If we have fewer than 20,000 circuits, then you're allowed to work. I just feel like maybe 20,000 is a good number. We'll certainly bring power drain down. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to cop in the inserters. It'd be cool if you could say um, global global restrictions on the logistic network like smart inserters that could be tied to the logistic network yes but instead of having every single inserter be programmable 
just say that smart inserters are not allowed to work unless this condition is met. So like I could just have like a, an interface that say that I don't want to have more than 50,000 coil. And then all smart inserters that were wired to a certain chest or something would automatically be updated. That would be really handy. So right now you are doing that. You're going to be tied to this. Now instead of being that, you're going to make it if you have less coil than I think 60k. Well, because you make you make two per. Let's make it 40k. Now I want I want three times I want 60k. Three times the amount necessary to make the green circuits. We seem to be doing okay on power during the day, but not even close at night. Accumulators are sucking up 400 megawatts, just trying to get the stockpile that they need. Doing great on copper trains. We definitely need to get uh, get some upgrades done. How are we doing on supply of solar? At 400, 4,500 available. We've got 2,400 in another chest. So we're looking pretty good. We've got about 6,000 more solar panels that we can add. And right now we've got 20,000. So we're going to be able to increase power. 6,000 solar panels times 42 average is 252 megawatts of extra power. Good. That's not bad. This is where I started upgrading the T-junctions. I don't know if I mentioned showing that off in the last episode. But I feel like maybe I went a little bit overboard. But the trains are doing their job now, so... Who cares? As long as they get the job done. I want to find that mod that automatically cancels like deconstruction planners, solar, um, electric mining drills if they are empty. Foreman, Solar Grid, X4. I also want to figure out what the mod is or what the command is to zoom out farther. There's definitely certain things that I need to be able to do. Be able to zoom out farther. Did those robots come from my inventory? I sure hope not. Okay, so I've put down one, two, two and a half, oh, 2.75 of these. 2.75 times 720 is 2,000. I've still got about 4,000 remaining, 4,000 divided by 720. So we need about five more four tile grids. Let's go do about five more of these. One. Definitely too close. One, one, right here. Two. Three. And I still also need to do that darn mod that lets blueprint blueprints last longer. Four. We'll do one more. I'm getting awfully far away now. We take the robots for freaking ever to get this done. Starting to complain about lack of solar panels. It's possible that I did my math wrong. Hmm. Might not be a bad idea to throw a few logistic robots into the secondary network. 
so that if I end up with wood in my inventory, they can kind of ferry it out and get rid of it. Only about 3,000 or so of these robots are even active right now. Which is kind of surprising, if I'm being honest. 2,200 is not the total. It's actually... It's not counting these. Oh crap, what have I done? I've taken it too far. You know what we can do? We can use the upgrade planner. That kills blueprints. Nice. Very nice. What are you still doing here? Yeah, here. Okay, so they're just hanging out, waiting for supply. The fact that there are so many, uh, I think we get rid of these these cargo wagons. Um. Too much coal! I can't pick you up! Oh, because of these trees. Hmm. Well, let's do this. We know eventually that we're gonna have a network down here. Well, the math may all be off, but eventually they're going to upgrade the rest of this robo area, so we'll call that good. I need to go find that mod. I'm going to do that. Between episodes, I'm going to go see if I can find both those mods. Both the mod that uh, kills miners that are done, and the mod that... does what? What was the other mod that I wanted? I've already forgotten. Clean this area up a little bit. Looks nice. What was the other mod? I know it was something. You who are watching are probably screaming at the top of your lungs right now. You know exactly what it is, don't you? Wondering why I can't remember. It was when I was working down there. I wanted to be able to zoom out farther, but that's not a mod.
I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go get the mod, the one mod, and I'll see if I can remember what it was. If not, that's okay too. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.